Welcome back, guys, to another Dark Souls 2 lore through. Um, we talked to everyone and Majula that we can right now. Um, I didn't look at these things. It's an interesting uh, statues with faces, and then there's the pit we heard about. Which just goes down and down and down. Alright, well let's go to the forest of fallen giants and see what's in store for us. Also, we're gonna need to level up here <clears throat> so we can start using some good weapons. You get a rusted coin. I believe that was more than one in the original game. An old rusted coin. Crushing the coin boosts luck. This rusted coin gives you that little extra bit of luck, making items and the like easier to find. The coin is engraved with the image of a god that was worshipped in ancient times, but no one knows its true origin. It actually looks like the copper coin image that you get from Petrus, which would have had old man McLoif on it. Get a little loading zone here. They have a couple of these in Dark Souls 2 that weren't <clears throat> really as present in Dark Souls 1. Where you like literally have to wait for something to move rather than just like going through a tunneled area as I assume they do mostly in Dark Souls 1. Another human effigy. I usually go this way, but um, I'm just gonna go through like a like I was normally playing this because I'm not sure fully what to expect. Alright, well. <clears throat> Let's see what this is. Homeward Bone and Soul of the Lost. I'm dead. Oops. Oh, come on. Yeah, so I'm just getting my timing back for uh, parrying. I did it in the first episode, but... So yeah, it's way early in this game. Huh. Uh, they changed parrying a lot in this game, so... <clears throat> it's probably not viable at all to uh, parry without a shield as it is in Dark Souls 1. So, <clears throat> I don't know if I'll have the strength for it, but I will try to, uh, huh. Alright, since I'm only dealing with the, um, the dagger for now, I'm just gonna rely on backstabs, I guess. Oh, there was an item over here. Like a life gem. Apparently not any longer. Oh, wow. The Crestfallen's Retreat. Oops. There's no crashing the game in this one.
Okay. Oh, there's different positions for these guys here. Okay. I don't even know if I have a... Uh, Interesting. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to try to get the buckler right away. Yeah, there used to be a guy here. Wait, did we pick up anything? Interesting. No. Oh, and I have the Esther shard, which I didn't use. In time. Awesome. We have not read about that yet. Have we? Green weed, shaped like a leafy flower, temporarily boosts stamina recovery speed. At one point, this herb was avoided due to its unusually bitter taste, but once its effects became known, it was harvested to near extinction by merchants. Now only exceptionally rare with wild specimens of this plant are left. I like how much plant usage is... <clears throat> incorporated into Dark Souls too, um, and they talk about like harvesting them and such. Um, in in the game that I uh, in the original Dark Souls two, that was a homeward bone, and I always died when I uh, tried to get it. So. I think I might skip that, <clears throat> unless it's some amazing item. Hmm, okay. Oh, interesting. It's one of these guys up here now, instead of a crossbow or a bowman. Okay. There used to be a short sword over here. Oops. Oh wow, that took off all of my health. short sword. Can I wield it? I don't know. What do they do? They jump? <laughs> Small straight sword, longer than a dagger, but still lightweight. Widely is a reasonable choice that will suffice in many situations, but the, not the thing to take along if you expect any serious challenge. Well, maybe that's what I do want. Well, no, I don't have strength or dex to wield it. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have become a sorcerer. Okay. Okay. Oh, and they get six damage, huh? I get half my health taken off. Yeah. 
definitely gonna play around with uh, my stats right away. That's interesting, they all get up now, like in the original. I think it should be good to use all these soul arrows up. Before the next bonfire. Oh man, there's just so many. <clears throat> so yeah, this is the infantry that we saw and spoke about earlier. what this courtyard was. There used to be a, uh, a hide knight here and they've replaced a weapon there with the broken straight sword. Also take away uh, body physics which is a little silly. Excuse me. Oh, I like that they're all down at least. Like, when you choose to engage them, then they'll come after you. I mean, there's a lot of them. But in the original, like, <clears throat> you basically had to. Uh, you ran up, and I mean, there wasn't as many, but. They would all storm me right away, plus there was someone shooting me from up there, so I don't know. I don't know. Alright. What's a throwing knife say, if anything? Interesting. This simple weapon is easily utilized. Its range is limited and deals very little damage, but even still, it's a valuable tool in the absence of other ranged weapons. Actually, if I recall, at least in the original, it did quite a bit of damage. Okay. See what's all the same here. Two guys in here? Yeah. Used to be. Oh, third guy. over here. The magic. Maybe they were just with bolts. Is this game different than uh, Dark Souls and that does it have lore in these? Yeah, nothing. Okay. Uh, interesting. Ooh, okay. Oh, come on. Oh, cool. He was attacking, so... Did more damage. Okay. Probably could equip my, uh... Estus, too, for at least one free... One free drag. Can we grab this? Huh. Life gem. Okay. There are like a billion guys up here. Okay. Whoa! And the, uh, if I recall correctly from my last playthrough, <laughs> Oh, there's one guy here. I won't even be able to wield the buckler. Because what do I have? Three strength? Seven dex? Oh, I shouldn't have been a sorcerer. That sucks. 
Yeah, we need seven and thirteen. Thirteen decks. Yeah, well, we'll level up quick. Oh wow, it takes like twice as long. Oh yeah, and I've seen this that there's boyers or I guess bowsmen that shoot you. Okay, well, I got zero soul arrows. Let's see if... Yeah. It's interesting he's already up. Just subtle little differences. Witching urn. A lot of items in this game. A small clay urn enwreathed in magic explodes inflicting magic. Created in Malfia, a land that flourishes with magic and pyromancy. Though the magic contained in the urn lacks potency, it is a boon to any inexperienced traveler. So, looking out over this kind of expanse, we are now officially like in a fortress area. And we can see, kind of down over here, there's a tree that's lit up all weird. We can see more of the um, fortress around here, and then a much clearer view of Drang Lake Castle over there, and a lot of particle effects in the air, as if this were Ulusil. Um Later on, we talk about the little ones dancing, and we saw in the opening cinematic the bright bugs or whatever that get that get in. I don't know if these are those or not. All right. Hmm. So we got our first bonfire. Cardinal Tower. <clears throat> and we see an image of a woman outstretching her hand with blood all over her skirt. Very nice image. TBH. Um, this is Melentia over here. Um, I'm not going to buy anything from her right now because I really am going to need levels before anything else. But we can talk to her. She's, she's wearing like a house on her back. Hmm. And a light attached to it, which is cool. My name is Melentia. You're a stranger to this land. Maybe. Oh, we get as strangers these days. Everybody's going to run off. <laughs> Drang Lake's been a pile of rubble since the war, thought long, long ago. Hmm. When the giants crossed the sea. She's got a uh, dark uh, surrounding her. Don't know about that lore. Um, but yeah, she's talking about the war that was fought when the giants crossed the sea. And we know that we're in the forest of fallen giants, so I would imagine that there was a war fought with giants uh, that came over here to Drang Lake. AKA, the giants didn't live here. Seemed like the battles would never end. Poor folk like myself have never yet place to sleep. That's why I keep all me things right with me. You may travel light, but methinks you bear a burden of your own. <laughs> so Melancha is the first person that we know of for sure to be from Drang Lake. It's kind of interesting. Most other people are travelers, like she says. They say these trees grew from the remains of the giant. From each carcass sprouted new life growing into what you see now. But do you know what they also say? 
So yeah, she's saying that giants uh, died and grew trees where they died at, which is interesting. I love how it leaves itself on the talk thing, so I don't have to scroll to it each time. It's high time that I pick up a moose. Hmm. A bargain for you. Next time we meet about that one. Okay, usually you had to buy stuff from her for her to move. But, oops. Well, let's see what she has. We have the broken straight sword. <clears throat> Nearly useless chumps empty-handed. More of a tool than a weapon. Its short range necessitates close range and perilous, and therefore perilous. Does a respectable amount of damage. None of the... I can, I can wield the broken straight sword. Great. Look... The club, a primitive weapon to be certain, but more quite powerful, so much so that it can break the guard of a shield and the castus. Weapon used to strike with one's fist. The thick leather covering bears, bears iron studs and protects the hands while augmenting their striking power. Attacks with the fists are solely dependent on one's strength. With this weapon, any encounter becomes a brawl. It is interesting. It does scale well. A on strength and B on dex. That's a pretty decent weapon if you're going to do hand to hand. And then you have the traveling set. Hat worn by merchants from Lanifer, where blue represents knowledge. Wearing this increases item discovery. Lanifer is the farthest land to the south and follows a strict edict of isolationism. The rare visit visitor from Lanifer is always a little odd. Hmm. Well, we'll meet someone from Lanifer who's wearing this. Um, I was wearing this garb, but yeah, Lanifer is very rarely talked about in the lore here. Coat worn by merchants from Lanifer. The eagle is normally a symbol of strength, but in Lanifer it symbolizes wealth. Lanifer is the farthest land to the south. Blah, blah, blah. So they value wealth over strength, I guess. But they're, were their symbols equaling different things? Glove worn by merchants. Boots worn by merchants. She says effigies and life gems. All this firebomb is new. Bisque urn filled with a black powder. Though this urn is crude and commonplace weapon, it owes its continued uses to its simplicity and effectiveness in a variety of situations. Well, I'm going to grab that, actually. We have the witching urn and the throwing knife, and then we have a bright bug, which we were just talking about. Inflict more damage, receive less. A tiny bug that produces light. Bright bugs are said to comfort the dead and are found in the marshlands leading to the undead crypt. By ingesting a bright bug just before death, the moment at which they glow most brightly, one attains great power for a short time, often utilized as a last resort for adventurers who have lost their way has no effect, in other words, or for phantoms. Pharaoh's Lockstone. Stone activating a creation of Pharaoh's the Vagabond. Pharaoh's the Vagabond was a legend who wandered the lands, creating contraptions to help those in sincere and dire need. The scope of his travels was so wide that Pharaoh's has been mistakenly credited with many inventions that were crafted by others. So he's the inventor of the story, I guess. <clears throat> fragrant branch of yore, a fragrant tree branch with a faint sweet smell, restores the life of things turned to stone. Extended inhalation of the branch's scent can lead to coughing and nausea. And Leningrass Key, open blacksmith Leningrass shop in Majula. Um, Majula, the land of exiles, is comprised of abandoned old houses, one of which Leningrass has fashioned into a workshop. So you're the one that has it. And so she has Soul Arrow, and also Heal, a healing miracle widely used by clerics. To use miracles, equip a sacred chime and attune a miracle and bonfire. Alright, well... Just trying to think if we try to go to um, try to level up a little bit here or not. Let's 
So yeah, I'm used to opening this up without. Okay. What the? I can't really hit low. Hand axe and radiant life gem. There's still one there. Wow, it's dark. Hollow soldier helm. I guess we got some hollow soldier stuff we could read. I don't think it has much. Um, also, yeah, we read this. Yeah. Um, helm worn by hollow uh, sol royal soldiers. Appears to be crafted with quality materials, but highly degraded. Why did I get... Oh, here we go. Gloves worn by hollowed infantry, a piece of basic minimal equipment. Worse yet, they're worn and nearly falling apart. Not, not recommended. Fair enough. So, <clears throat> just different kind of chests in this game, and... Some, some are traps, some are mimics, and the wood ones, if you hit them enough, break and then makes what's in them turn into um, rubbish. So, you gotta be careful. Alright, repair power. Enchanted metal rendered into power repairs equipment. Weapons and armor wear down with use. Allow too much wear and you won't be able to use them. You have only yourself to blame if you find yourself in crisis with no powder to spare. <clears throat> the way they do um, re repairing is a lot better in this game, I think. Um, although, I think the durability does last. It goes a little bit too quick in this game. I think they perfected it in Dark Souls 3. But repairing your weapon every once in a while for the purpose of just busy work, I think is kind of weird. Whereas... Limiting how much you can use a particular weapon is a good idea, as long as it automatically gets refilled at a bonfire. It's a great idea. I love it. Small leather covered shield, particularly traditional type of a small shield. Small shields are very light and easy to use, but not stable when attacked. Oops. Okay. Is a tree root coming down there? something good. At least it was in the past. Ooh. No more Estus Shard. But we do get the small white soapstone. Um, which says, Be summoned it as a shade to another world in order to help the world's master for a certain time. You'll be re rewarded for successfully assisting another player. The effect is not as long-lived as that of the white soapstone and is used only in particular places. <laughs> and did we just get another soul? I can't remember. I would have liked to ask the shard. Okay, and then we got another random divine blessing just sitting in a tree. I'm not sure that the uh, item locations in Dark Souls 2 are all that well thought out. But oh, interesting. Um. Oh, wow. Oh, this is Dark Souls. Need to get that achievement. stands up by default now. It's supposed to chase after you when you try to do anything over here. Fair enough. Alright. Oh, weird. Um, 
I mean, I put this on here because I was eventually going to use it, but I should probably take it off just in case. All right. Effigy, always nice. Torch. Throwing knife. Not the most exciting items yet. Um, there's a bunch of people turned to stone here. Aha. Uh -huh. Is this buddy? That's too close. Okay. It's an old ironclad. All right. Oh, okay. Shouldn't be so, uh, Ton of soul arrows. But I do have those amber herbs. to be a sorcerer so I'm not worried about conserving these because right now it's just my only damage that I'm doing. Foot soldier shield. Small shield used by drawing like foot soldiers a clearly makeshift shield that does not offer significant defense. Okay then when we go in here at least in the old game, some guys came down and trapped you in there. Well, made it harder for you. Some more life gems, very much appreciated. Um, okay, well I guess we're just going. This this should be the fire sword. Cool. Um, where's the item? Okay. Cool. That part cleared. some point in this game. I'm not sure. Oh, that was a little bit cheap.
All right, so now we have double the souls, and we have a lot of things to use. So let's go back to Majula. Now we'll see another huge improvement over Dark Souls 1. Just use all these at once. So nice. Alright, we should be able to level up well here. Uh, okay, so which... Which weapon are we going to immediately try to do? I mean, let's do the fire sword for now. Oh, can you really not see the stats? Okay, ten and nine. We can do that. I'm pretty sure. Is that a shard you found? Yes, it is. Here, let me see it. So that I may help you. To see light. To see hope. However faint it might be. So apparently, yeah, she has to, like, do this. So now we have two. Yes, this drinks. Okay, ten and nine. Wow. Yep. I'll do it. Those who come to Drang Lake seeking salvation soon lose uh, it. It happens that. to them all. That blue knight at the base of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps no, we already saw this. Okay. Bearer Oops. of the Alright, so let's travel back. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Melancia is not there. Just checking. Okay, but we need thirteenth strength. Or decks to wield the buckler, unfortunately. Um, right? Yes. Um, small leather's fine. Um, <clears throat> we can do that. Alright, we'll start with the game now. So I used to the controls for Dark Souls, so I put oh, okay. It's a little different. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go pick this up. Just kidding. Oops. <laughs> Oh wow, my thing didn't even come out. I, uh, I pressed um, parry and it, it didn't even look like I even attempted to parry. find where all the guys are hidden now that they're not where I think they are. Aha. Uh -huh. I should know that one. Okay, okay, okay. Souls lost some dead. Sorry, dude. I'm just taking you out real quick. Alright, we got a locked door. And uh, down here we see these very strange lizards. Pillars of fire. And I'm getting the impression that this is like something that's burning from the war and has not stopped burning from the war. And, uh, and this is also locked. In a sense.
Hmm. Oh, really? One thing I don't like, uh, is, I guess it's just a general thing about how the uh, um, durability system is too fast, but if you parry with something, you it loses durability. And if you parry a lot, then... Yeah. You know. <laughs> That's slow enough I even had to comp I could compensate for my late or my early swing. Yeah, like even a drop like this, like hurts you in this game, so yeah, it's very okay. I like the soul effect in the scholar. It's very uh oops. Interesting. Come closer. Okay. Alright. Yeah, very interesting. Different placements of enemies. Just very subtle things. I don't think I've ever been able to land on this <laughs> level. Oh, gosh. I thought that was a corpse. Okay. And yeah, I'm just kind of trying to get all the items, at least that I know of. Get a Titanite Shard. Which, do we read that? Wait, do we already have a Titanite Shard? How is that the case? Huh. I don't know where we got that other one. But I know we read it. Alright. So now back over here. Um... I'd like to use a life gem to top off, but I suppose I should use this even though it's a little a little amount. Just because they're reusable. Oh look at this. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so now the bowman is up there. Wow, I do not feel confident about my parkour skills. Okay. I suppose I should like everything be pretending like I've, you know, never played this game. Like for things like that. I mean, who knows, maybe there's a second one now. Big metal ball from up there, eh? Who pushed that ball down? Was it you? Let's go grab this first. Is more amber herb? Or is... Yeah, more amber herb. <clears throat> Who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just... Daydreaming, I think. Really? My name is Kale. I'm a traveler like yourself. 
I'm navigating the continent to create a map. <laughs> Is that why you pushed a boulder down on me? Why cartography, you ask? Hmm. That's not what I asked. Well, it's a good question. When I first came into this forsaken land, it was... Um... Uh, a curse? Uh, something about a curse? <laughs> How embarrassing. I seem to have lost my focus. But I do know one thing for certain. I have always been very fond of maps. Yeah, so I mean, this is just... There's not the same type of lore and character-driven things like in Dark Souls 1, but we get to see these, you know, beings in the process of being hollowed themselves, which we don't fully get to see in Dark Souls 1. Like, we don't get a lot of dialogue on what it feels like to go hollow. But uh, there's one character in particular that does that really well in this game, but we can tell he's like, I kind of remember I was here for a curse, yeah, or something, I don't remember. I came to this land some time ago, Drangling, the Lost Kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Have you seen the Jula? Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. I've made it my temporary home. Well, as something of a squatter, I'm afraid. He said Drang Lake is the Lost Kingdom. Again, kind of supporting the idea that, you know, you have to go through this weird process to get here and go through things betwixt. We also, we did see that mansion, and, uh, and he, when he came here, he obviously came to Majula, and somehow he got the key and the what you know way into that mansion which is kind of, that mansion it's very interesting inside the mansion i found a strange map like none i'd ever seen i believe that it's a map of dreaming now i'm traveling the land to prove it yes yes that's it that's why i came to the kingdom wait no that wasn't it. Then what? I don't seem to recall. Well, he was undoubtedly trying to break the undead curse like he'd heard about. Were you looking for that map? No. Wonderful. Then you are fascinated by maps, just like me. Yeah, sure. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Here. Take this. A key to the mansion. What a joy to meet a kindred spirit out here. Hmm. Well, now we can get into that mansion. Incredible, really, isn't it? Such a map to be chiseled in stone. Oh, but one thing. I would not venture deep into the mansion. I can't be certain. But I've heard disturbing noises. I'll check it out for you, Kale. Something about it feels wrong. Just be careful, please. I'll be back in Majula soon. Perhaps we will meet again and discuss maps at our leisure. Sounds fun. I'll be back in... Alright. Well, I guess I can forgive you for pushing a boulder down on me. Seem friendly enough. Maybe it was an accident. Alright, well, we're coming up on time. What the? I don't recognize this at all. I thought this used to look over a different area. What's that? Oh, the, oh, maybe they maybe they did some weird perspective thing. So yeah, I know what this is now. Huh? Yeah, maybe they had done it in error before, and they're trying to fix it. Huh? 
I don't think that's what it was like. Well, um, yeah, so, as I say, we're getting at time here. Um, okay. Guess we'll fight this guy. Yeah, I thought that might happen. I'm glad I didn't die, though. I tried to break the other ones, but... Okay, well... Alright, well, I think I'm gonna try to fight the Pursuer. Oh, I killed that guy. Oh, oh is that guy still throw? Bombs? I bought a single bomb so that I could, uh, do this myself, because at least in the original game I can never get it to go myself. Now I'm going to try to take on the Pursuer. Uh, again, I don't even know if he's up here, but um, I don't have any ADP uh, adaptability leveled up, so I don't know if I will be... It's interesting, he's carried by a crow. Where does he land? Oh god. Oh god. Alright. It's been a while since I fought this guy, but... I guess I can... I don't know how to parry him, so I won't be trying that. You get the soul of the pursuer by beating him here. Yeah, so the pursuer. He hunts the undead. Oh, a little delayed there. Okay. Yeah, it seems like this might be a little bit of a waste of our t I'm mean, not waste of time, but like like we spend a lot of time fighting him because we're not leveled up very well. So just bear with me. Ooh, that was delayed as well. Glad I got out of the way. Oh, I don't know that attack at all. Oh gosh, I didn't get that one. Okay, it doesn't... Now he's got the like calamity thing going on. Oh yeah, these pursuers... Oh! Oh! Man, if only I didn't let him grab me with that one. I thought I was well out of the way. All right, well, at that spectacular death, we'll end it here, and we'll, uh, we'll continue in the Forest of Fallen Giants next time.